All right, so in this problem, I have 8 to the power of 11 plus 8 to the power of 11 plus 8 to the power of 11 plus 8 to the power of 11. So I want to find the value of this. So for my solution, I'm going to rewrite my equation, or sorry, my problem over here. So I 8 to the power of 11 plus 8 to the power of 11 plus 8 to the power of 11 plus 8 to the power of 11. Now, notice how all of these terms here are the same. So I have all the same terms adding with each other. And if I have something in the form a to the power of b plus a to the power of b plus a to the power of b plus a to the power of b, I can simply just factor out a to the power of b from here. So I get a to the power of b times, well, a to the power of b divided by itself is 1. So I get a to the power of b times 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So in this case, I have a to the power of 11 plus itself 4 times. So I can factor out a to the power of 11. And I get a to the power of 11 times 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. And now 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 4. So I get 8 to the power of 11 times 4. Now from here, 8 to the power of 11, I can rewrite this as 2 to the power of 3. I'm gonna, all I did was rewrite 8 as 2 to the power of 3. And now 4, I can also rewrite this as a power of 2. 4 is the same thing as 2 squared. From here, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 11 that's going to equal 2 to the power of 3 times 11, which is equal to 2 to the power of 33, because 3 times 11 is 33. So I get 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 11, which is equal to 2 to the power of 33. So now I have 2 to the power of 33 times 2 squared. Now, the last part is fairly easy step. Because both of these bases are the same, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So over here, I have 2 to the power of 33 times 2 squared. I can think of a as 2, m as 33, and n as 2. So I can rewrite this as 2 to the power of 33 plus 2 which is equal to 2 to the power of 35. So this is my final answer, and I actually can't simplify this anymore because 2 to the power of 35 is a crazy big number. So this is my final answer. And also, the only way that this solving process could have been faster is in my first step over here. I took a whole three steps to rewrite 8 to the power of 11 plus itself 4 times as 8 to the power of 11 times 4, when I could have just saw that when it's the same term adding by itself x amount of times, it's just that term times x. So that's a faster way. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be solving the problem 100 to the power of x is equal to 10 to the power of x plus 1 to the power of x. So to solve this, what I'm first going to do is rewrite 100 to the power of x as 10 squared to the power of x. So now this is equal to 10 to the power of x plus 1 to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So 10 to the power of 2 to the power of x is equal to 10 to the power of x to the power of 2. So now I have 10 to the power of x to the power of 2 is equal to 10 to the power of x plus 1 to the power of x. Now
Now, if I have something in the form, or sorry, one to the power of any number is just gonna be one. So we can just get rid of this x as an exponent because it won't really change anything. Now I have 10 to the power of x squared is equal to 10 to the power of x plus one. And now from here, I'm going to let 10 to the power of x equal to the variable m. So now I have m squared is equal to m plus one. And this turns into m squared minus m minus one is equal to zero. Now I'm going to use the quadratic formula to solve this. So the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is negative 1. So I get m is equal to negative of negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared minus 4a is which is 1 times c which is negative 1 all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And this turns into positive 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus, sorry, plus 4 over 2, which is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. So this is the value of m. And to be precise, the two values of m are 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 and 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. Now, remember how we let m equal 10 to the power of x. So 10 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And 10 to the power of x is also equal to 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. So for my second equation over here, 10 to the power of x is equal to 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. Well, 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2 is a negative number. And you can't take the power of a positive number and make it equal negative, meaning there's no solution to this equation. So we are only left with 10 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And to solve this, I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I get log 10 to the power of x is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And if I have something in the log form log a to the power of b, I can move the ex exponent b to the front. So this turns into b times log a. So now I have log 10 to the power of x, which I can move x to the front. So I get x times log 10 is equal to log of 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And now I'm going to divide both sides by log 10. So then these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log of 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 over log 10. And log 10, if you guys already know, is equal to 1. So this turns into log of 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 over 1, which is the same thing as log of 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. There's no need to include the over 1 because anything over 1 is itself. So this is my solution to this equation.